Happy Holidays, my Earth Angel friends. I'm Reverend Nina Rowe, founder of AngelsTeach.com. I am so excited about all of the events that are happening right now. Not just because it's the holiday season, I do love this time of year with a celebration of light and just the focus on joy and being together and sharing and it's just a wonderful time of year. Uh, that said, there are certainly those of us who this time of year brings focus to things that haven't been happening in your lives. Uh, people that may not be with you at this time. Um, things that are different from prior years. And I don't want to be doing this. Happy Holidays, my Earth Angel friends. I'm Reverend Nina Rowe, founder of AngelsTeach.com, and I am so excited about all of the festivities and the events that are happening right now. Of course, the holiday season is always exciting and fun in this household, but I'm also excited even more so because of the celestial events that are happening and affecting all of us right now. On December 10th, Mercury went retrograde and will be retrograde until the end of December. What that means is that we are being invited, encouraged by the energies produced by Mercury retrograde to go inward, to be introspective, to really uh, focus on what's going on deep inside of ourselves. This is often why Mercury retrograde gets a bad rap because in our society of doing, doing, doing and being busy all the time, it's hard for us to slow down and stop and really take that time to be still and to go inward. And so we're often finding ourselves fighting Mercury retrograde when we have technical problems, when we have communication problems, which often go along with Mercury retrograde we tend to try to fight and push through it. And really looking at those kinds of signs, those kinds of challenges as an invitation to stop, to slow down, and to perhaps do something else. Coupled with Mercury retrograde, and this is why I'm so excited, on Tuesday at 3.17 a.m. is the peak of a total lunar eclipse. This is happening synchronistically also on the winter solstice the shortest day of the year here in the Northern Hemisphere. So we have three events that are happening all around darkness, all around pulling within and getting quiet and really looking at what's going on inside. So we have Mercury retrograde, we have an eclipse of the moon, and we have the darkest day of the year all coming together all at once. And the ancient civilizations, ancient cultures, those uh, societies that are more tuned into the planetary, the celestial events, all understand that this kind of crossing of events is very, very significant. And what my angels have shared with me is that this is really marking a crossroads, a choice point that affects all of us. And it affects all of us personally, professionally, and also with respect to our relationship with all of humanity. So I really encourage you during this holiday season that of course is also focused on celebration to also work with your angels to go inside and figure out what choices am I facing and needing to make personally with respect to fa friends, family, personal healing, anything that directly affects you and your, your relationships including with yourself. Second, look at choice points, choices that you're looking to make professionally. What are you choosing to do in terms of your relationship with career, with your occupation, how you spend your time doing service for the world? And I encourage you, no matter what your occupation, that you do look at what you do as service for the world because that really helps to put a, a divine slant on the work that you were doing, even if you're a bookkeeper, uh, if you're a nurse, if you're a librarian, if you're a teacher, whatever it is, it's all about service to the world. Which brings me to the third choice point that we're all looking at is our choices with respect to all of humanity. 
and what are we facing right now at this period in our collective lives that affects all of humanity and how can we make choices from all three of these perspectives from a, a place of higher consciousness in alignment if you will with your soul's destiny and purpose for being here which is what the angels are always encouraging us to do so I am going to pull one card for this this week it's actually going to be our reading through the end of this year as I will be taking a little vacation myself until 2011 I am using Tony Carmen Salerno's Universal Wisdom deck and let's see what the angels have in store for us today just actually use this deck in our angel communication master's class had a lot of fun with it okay I'm laughing. Uh, rest, which of all the cards in this deck, this is the one card, of course the word rest applies here, but this is the one card that's so much about going within, about being very, very still. I've talked about that quite a bit lately, um, but really total surrender to the energy. So what I encourage and what I'm hearing my angels say, yes, 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 please say this with your, your angel friends out here. Um, is to stay close to your guidance with what you're choosing to do over the holiday season uh, and what you're choosing not to do. So if you have plans to go to a party on a certain day and that day arrives and you're just not feeling the energy to be able to follow through with it, say no. And just say no trusting that it's in the highest good not just of your own self but for everybody involved for whatever reason. Uh, the other aspect of this is, I'm hearing, pacing yourself, um, which has been a theme lately. Making sure that if you have a list of 500 things to do, ask your angels to help you prioritize that list because nine times out of ten, that list of 500 things to do is going to become 50 things to do when you ask your angels because one of the things our sneaky little ego friend likes to convince us of is to be busy all the time. And our angels are helping to counter that by saying, you know what, you really don't need to do laundry today. That can wait until tomorrow when you're going to have better space to be able to do that. And so sit quietly with your angels when you're feeling overwhelmed and ask, do I really need to be doing this right now? And stay close to that truth. So just tuning in here to see if there's any last message here for the year of 2010. And I'm hearing no, that we're clear to go. So my blessings of joyous love and abundance to all of you, wishing you a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. Be well. See you in 2011.